Hey guys, this is Comics Creation, Comic Creation with Jack Moses. If you um, saw before, I finally came up with a name. And I think it's pretty cool because it's like actually the character's name, a very important character's name in Timeless Visions. Now, I actually had like, I don't know, like 20 minutes of work that I did because I kept screwing up left and right. And I told you that I was going to make sure that the steps were walked through together. But basically, I screwed up left and right. Super screwed up. And um, I had to fix it. Okay, so I had to get everything down and make it look better. It was looking way too unnatural. And I hate unnatural stuff already do. That was a depressed robot. Okay, so in this video, which is actually the second part of the video that is gone now, which kind of sucks, um, we're penciling in the second page. This woman is crouching, and she's kind of checking things out. And you'll see that from the next panel. It'll be kind of like a bird's eye view of the whole horrible situation that's going on down there. Now, I screwed up a billion times because of the whole, and it may not be, you know, it, it may not be the uh, sphere jaw, sphere box jaw method that everyone knows and loves. It may just be me. Um, the way I do it, somehow I just keep screwing it up. I'm not sure why, but I'll never... Stop trying to evolve it. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. That ear. And always make sure you look at reference stuff. You know, it's important. Doo -doo -doo. Just like that. Okay. Um, but yeah. You missed the whole sphere and the box and all that. And probably a good thing you did because it sucked. Alright. Now, in this one. We're just gonna kind of, kind of lay out the hair. Uh, she's got, oh, she's got some crazy hair, cause she's crazy. She's crazy. She's. I'm trying to debate on whether. I actually kind of want her to have uh, a hood on. <clears throat> um, this is a post-apocalyptic thriller, so there's going to be a lot of, you know, modern clothing slash futuristic clothing combined with it. Um, she's very very well she she has a way about her that she likes to be kind of out of the way yet she makes a big scene when she shows up which I think is kind of cool now I'm not gonna tell you her name right now cuz she's still incognito But I want to make sure that, you know, that it's just some crazy stuff, man. I just want some crazy stuff. That's what art's all about. It's about expressing yourself. You know, make sure that it's you. And this, you know, it's a slash tutorial slash building of this comic book. And there's a lot of times I'll just kind of sit idle because I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. And I know you're like, well, if you just, you know, put out panels and, or put out, you know, story on paper before, and I'm like, I don't work that way. 
<clears throat> I do not work that way. I've been doing this, like I said, I'm on my third book, no, fourth book. And I, th I think it's going pretty well. I'm very excited. I'm very, very, very excited. I'm very excited for you guys to read it. I am really, really, really excited. This, and put that over there, like that. Boom. That's covering up the body. Always put everything in there first. You know, put the, put the body in there first. You know, put the eyes, put, the, put everything in there. Then if, you know, if something's covering, erase it. Erase whatever it is. Because you just, you, you really got to, you got to make sure that everything's in there. So it makes it easier, even if you have to erase it. Okay, so, I don't know, let's put something weird over here, like, uh, maybe she's wearing, um, maybe she's wearing, like, a, a hoodie made of animal skin. It's just crazy. She's not, she's not part of Peter. I'll tell you that much. She's a survivor. She's only there for surviving. You see. She's crazy. Just like this book. She's got her ways about her, I'm telling you, right now. So, let me put that right there. That's, that's shading. Now, when we do that... I don't like that, do you? I really don't like that. Let's get rid of that. This is not the time for shading, because we're not done what we need to be done with. Right? So... Right here. Okay. Now this is her. Well, you'll be able to see what she's doing momentarily. Like that. Let's see if I can get that done. Uh, do 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 do. Goes like that. Like that. Is that right? <clears throat> Again. You know, this is. I am not an expert by any means. I just don't don't give up and I don't think you ever should either. If you got an idea, do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Cause even if your art's not great, you know? You um you should still really, really let people know your story. It's pretty important. You know, that I mean I was writing a book, it was about people keeping very important things from this world. And in some parts, it was good. Because it was about, you know, how some of the things, if the world was let known about them, then it would do horrible things for the world. But there are actually some things where inventions, people's fears get in the way, and uh, those things could have really, really improved the world. 
and I think that you know I think that's real I think that's realistic because there's a lot of people who are afraid and I was telling you you don't need to be afraid let's make sure that this stays kind of rusty and ugly because it's it's more of a homemade item most of these things are going to be homemade because this is a world, this is a fallen world the protodarian fallout oh man burping up peanut butter is nasty it's alright though alright put that Y in there just like that uh, did I make that? Let's see. Just like that. Is that right? Yeah, that's fine. Alright. <coughs> and sometimes, because <coughs> it all depends on the ethnicity of the character. Like, this particular woman is probably Scandinavian so she's got more of a thinner nose just like that okay so there again I mean I don't know does that look okay yeah it looks fine So this is just like a kind of sneak peek of what she's going to bring to the table. Each one of my videos are, you know, they're going to have different lengths to them. It all depends on the art. Like if I'm able to finish the penciling sooner, then I'm going to end it at penciling. But they're all going to be set up into um, chapters like each page will be have its own chapter which means you'll be able to easily look it up that way there's a lot of times you know you just want to like really play with crap, you know? Make sure that you, you don't stay too ordinary, especially in a crazy sci-fi book. Boom, just like that. Okay. That's important. That's very important. Use this, and now let's see. Okay. Now, when we come back, I will be <laughs> tons of detail on. I don't put so much on the skin. Most of my detail is on clothes and other things. But skin is it's kind of it it tells its own story. That's why for other things you've got to tell the story for it. Now this woman and remember like What really plays a big part in the telling of the person's mood is the eyes. Their eyes. That is so important. So very, very important. Nope, that's in the wrong spot. And I have a problem finding out where pupils go. So I think we've got it. Yeah, 
That would be fun. I think I, there's too much. Okay. Yeah, that looks fine. That looks fine, does it? I think it looks pretty good. See, see you're seeing her right now. She's she's got a crazy look about her. We'll come back. Which I already said that, didn't I? Ah. I come back, we'll ink her. To the fun part. And the so so very much fun part it is. Does that look okay? Yeah, because we're gonna take and open her mouth up right there. She's ready. She's ready to go. But what's she ready to go for? I guess we'll find out, won't we? We will find out. Do I like that? Nope. Nope, we're going to close that up a little bit more. Just like that. And I think... Yep. See, there's always... There's always something. There's always something. There. That's going to fix the problem right there. There's always something, guys. Always. Right there, uh, that's uh, that, that'll fix the problem. Right. So I keep saying when we come back, but I keep finding things that are bothering me. And you, and, hey, you know what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You're artists, people. You're artists. All of y'all, good people. Artists are good people. It's like Frank Cho said. He said, uh, "Artists are always good people. It's the writers who are a bunch of buttholes." But then he had to go on and say, you know, that he's kind of a butthole too because he said that he's also a writer, and I'm a writer, but I'm not a butthole. There's nothing buttholeish about me. It's funny. He's, he, he, man, he, he would be awesome to meet. He's kind of amazing. Alright, so we got that down. When we come back, we'll make a bunch of little weird designs and stuff like that. I think that we're not going to be inking just yet because we are not done. Alright, see you guys in a few minutes. Oh. Let's play. Okay. I am back. Welcome back. Me. Or you guys. How are y'all? Um. As I was watching the video, um, I noticed a few things that I did not like. Um. That's okay, that's what it's all about. It's always about critiquing your stuff, you know, making it to where... And I also saw something else that I would like to have. And that would be this foot right here. But I want this. I want that, which is going to be a boom, like a you know, like kind of like a you know, over neck turtle thing. So if it would go like that, like that, like that. There we go. Yeah. All right. Cool. So we've got that right there. I like that. Yes, I do. Yeah, let's have that. And what's really cool about all of this is, um, you know, when I'm doing this with you guys, I'm trying to, you know, show a little tutorial and I'm trying to teach myself at the same time. I'm like, you know, I'm going to be working anyways. I might as well just share what I know. It's not much. 
Oh, no. <laughs> I'm not. Like I said, you know, I'm, I'm pretty humble about things. I know I'm not that great, but I enjoy what I do, and I figured the best thing I could do is share it. Um, uh, I love sharing things. I love sharing this talent. I love helping if there's anything I can you know, help with. This needs to be just like that. Okay. So that that looks good. I like that. I like that a lot. And what I did say, you know what? I really don't like the lips. The lips are driving me crazy. Whoop! Did not mean to do that. The lips are driving me crazy. And what I'm going to do, and this is the cool thing about Photoshop or any kind of program like Photoshop. Um, I didn't like those lips at all. Um, let's see, dude, that goes right there. Uh, smile. Smile big, darling. There you go. Crazy smile. Uh, okay. Now, the best thing to do when you're making lips is to make the line, you know, where the, where the lips are, the my, 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 walk, talking part of it. And then you put the, the actual puffiness around it. See, I like that a lot better. It looks more clean. It looks a lot cleaner, don't you think? I do believe so myself. Yes, I do. Do we like that? So now, we can do this. Oops, I had that crazy thing happen to me again. See, I like these lips a lot better. And like I said, man, if, if something's not looking right, change it. Don't leave it. It's better to uh, you know, go over something a million times to fix it. Then you, then you just leave it because you're going to leave your mistake. You're never going to learn. And art, like anything else, is all about learning. Does that look okay? Yeah, let's put that down. So we, we might actually, let's see, is that? Yeah, I like these lips a lot better. Yeah, she's got a smirk. There it is. That's what I want. The smite. Do we like the hair? I don't think we like the hair either. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Yeah, there we go. Just like that. Yeah, I like that. She got this going on right here. Mm, do we like? No, we don't like that. I want to be able to have that, you know, look to her. That's important to me. And we just achieved it. Excellent. It's important, you know. Anything that you feel is important, don't leave it out. Don't leave it out. Because probably those things that you feel are important are the things that make it truly unique. And I'm not even gonna say probably, I'm gonna say they make it truly unique. I mean I know that little thing wasn't a big deal, but to me it was. Just like uh, where this used to just be nothing. I see that when when you see her, she's she's going to jump down and she's gonna be all crazy. Cause I want her to have Kind of a I don't care attitude about her. That's important to me because that's who she is. Do we like that nose? I don't think we like the nose too much, do we? No, we don't. Clean that up. Clean it up. Clean it up. There we go. 
Okay, that looks better. Yeah, we're gonna leave it like that. We like that. Yes, we're Borg. I'm, I'm answering for everyone that you guys like it. If if I like it, you like it. No, I'm just playing. Ha. Huh. So we'll close that in. Make that. Close that in. Like that. There we go, guys. There we go, guys. We got it. We got it, guys. There we go. Yeah. Now she's looking more post apocalyptic. Excellent. Post apocalyptic thriller or whatever, blah, 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 blah. If you really, really, really want to know more about it, then go to Comixology. Um, like I said, my link is down below. It is a crazy, crazy story. You're going to love it. Um, I think you will, anyways. I'm not going to speak for everybody, but I think it's an amazing story. I really do. It's going to be huge. Um, there's a lot of things going on right now. A lot of things. Now, this right here, all of this, it's going to be scales. So we're going to do that in ink. Because if we did it all in pencil, it would take forever twice. And I don't want to do it twice. So that is that with that. And since we finished early, let's see. Yeah, okay, yeah. And since we finished early, we're going to start the inking now. Right now. Live. Well, it's all live, but you know what I mean. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm a little retarded. That's okay. If we were all the same, we would be highly boring, now wouldn't we? Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so there we go. Alright, we're done playing around with that. Now. Okay, like I said, in pencil, I'm, I'm at 15 size. So when I go to ink, I move up to 35. Because I like fuller lines. And it just makes things easier for me. So now we're going to start with the inking process. Zooming in. Now the important thing is when you're, and I've found this out, when you're working so close in, you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful because um, when you're doing, you, you kinda get sidetracked with all the other little things. It's not good. Never any good to be getting sidetracked with a bunch of different little things. Like, I don't really know how to explain it. I think you guys know what I'm talking about, though. So she's got eyeliner all the way around. And remember that, you know, I mean, it, it all depends on what the person's wearing, what the person, how much makeup they have on, because that plays a big part. Like, if you were to, if someone didn't have eyeliner all the way around, but you made it where it's all the way around, it's just going to look like you made, uh, you, 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 you threw in every little detail. Which some of it doesn't read. Some of the details don't read, so you don't put them in there. Unless it's supposed to be there. So there you go right there. Put the hair in there. Yeah, see. Okay. Now this is where... This is what I was talking about. More than likely I'm going to run into... 
problem. being too close maybe I don't know we'll, 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 we'll see right now I'd like to focus on the see because right there boom look at it Whoop, we don't want that there you go right there yeah okay we like that okay And another one. Because people have two eyebrows. Yes. Some people have two eyebrows. Some people have no eyebrows. Some people have painted on eyebrows. It all depends. Okay. That's a raised eyebrow. Because she's. she's she, man, she's assessing the situation. That's what she's doing. She's ready. She's about she's about ready to go down there. She's gonna clean house. So that's what she does. That's what all of them do. It's part of the Dragon Sisters, which you'll know more about later. Very powerful, very attractive force of nature is who they are. Nope, don't like that. There we go. Now, there's a lot of times where you think you want that hard nose line, but it doesn't work out. Then there's a lot of times it does work out. This is one of those times it looks okay. Like that makes her look more, like I said, Scandinavian. If I don't think I think she's gonna be like a Middle Eastern, honestly. I just like the idea of her being more Middle Eastern. Her story's kind of evolving. See, that's the that's the cool thing about all of this. Her story and others' the stories are evolving as we work together, all of us, which is kind of cool. I mean, I have the main idea for a lot from for actually the whole story, but. You know, fleshing in details and of things that are going on. Yeah, I mean, there's some of it I uh, I figure out as I go, which I think is cool. I mean, because you're constantly evolving. It's like you know, like I I, I take a lot of information from Frank Cho because he's he's amazing. He's an amazing guy. But he said that you know if if you're if something is not working right, then don't force it. And I feel that the way to not force it is to constantly be evolving in your story. Because if you have some idea, like, yes, it's important to have the main idea of your story. Dang it, that's annoying. But all the little details... Did I switch over to the end? Yeah, okay. All the little details... Like fleshing out uh, secondary characters and stuff like that. Don't make it, you know, don't make it ironclad. Change it up. But, you know, stuff like their, their past and all that. Until you've finally figured out what you're... Uh, so annoying. Until you finally figure out what mm, I did it again. Until you finally figure out what that character is all about, then you know you can keep on changing it. You can keep on, keep on, keep on changing it through the night. That's not how it goes. That's not how that song goes. 
That's all right. So here she is. Hey, gotta be careful with those lines. Sometimes it feels like ink. Sometimes it really does feel like ink, which is nice. You guys, I like making a lot of noises when I'm trying to make solid lines. There we go. But as far as the sisters go, they've already been made. It's just because I know who is going to be a sister. I know what the sisters are about. But as far as their stories go, each individually, it's always it's always changing until I've got it all figured out. I don't know if that really makes any sense. Oh well. If it doesn't, it will make plenty of sense later. All I gotta say really is, it's gonna flow. It will flow. Don't be like, oh well, that's that's gonna like you know cause it to not flow. And that's my main goal is to make things flow. So I'm always remembering what I say. I'm always remembering what the panel was last, what colors. Continuity, I think, is the word. The continuity of things is important. Well, it's important, period. And um, I'm always looking for that. I'm always making sure it's there. It's pretty important. Oh, there I go again, and everything's, everything is important. Truthfully, everything is important. You asked me, which you did, because it's my channel. Mmm. No, I'm just joking. I'm just messing with you. As you can see, I like to just kind of kid around a lot. A whole heap load. I also like to make weird accents. Not very good at them, but that's alright, I don't really care. I think it's like a nervous thing, honestly. Does that look right? That doesn't look right. Does it work? And we, we don't like that. I don't know, let's see. We might do this. And then make that. There. You know, kind of like everything needs light. I mean, I, I know that, like, you know, everything is not in the light, but when it comes to comic book work, kind of everything has to have uh, an unnatural look when it comes to light. Makes things pop more. Because I, I, I had that problem for a long time. I was making everything way too realistic when it came to light, and it was making my stuff not look fun. And that was a problem. So, I had to kind of lay off of that for a little bit. And make it, you know, because it's a comic book, man. It's about, you know, you're not painting something real or drawing something. It's a comic book. And yeah, I, I know I like to I, I say that I like to make things look really realistic, but I also like contrast. Lots and lots of contrast. Now, for this, I know she's got a pretty face, but it's going to be hidden. And we're gonna see how that works. If it doesn't work, we're not, we're not gonna do it. But what I'm gonna do, and do 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 like that. Now, now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna just color it in. 
see how that works. And the cool thing is, if it doesn't work, then we'll just hit the back key. Because that's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of the Photoshop, isn't it? See, the thing is, is yeah, maybe it's cheating. Maybe it's cheating, but you're given these tools. You're given these tools to make your life easier. You got enough crap in your life to worry about. You don't need to be like super, super rigid about what you're doing when it comes to testing things out. Like, don't say, well, I'm not going to do that, you know. Just put it in there and see if it works. If it doesn't, you should save it, though. Save it. Make sure you save it. Because if it doesn't work, then you're screwed. You can't go back. And if I did that, oof, oof, that would drive me nuts. So that's gone. Maybe a little bit of... A little bit right there. And we'll leave that for now see how it looks. Put that there. See, that there's a lot of times where sometimes, you know, like I said, you know, things aren't always super realistic when it comes to art, but if you just kind of play with things a little bit, like, you know, let's see, that's, see, this probably isn't going to work, but we're going to find out. Oh, well, we don't like that. See, this is, yeah, I can already tell this is not going to work, but we'll find out. I like the element of mystery for this character, honestly. I don't want to reveal her just yet, which kind of doesn't make any sense, because I'm revealing her right now. I just showed you what she looked like, but, you know, you're, you're my special audience. You'll get to see things that others won't unless they subscribe to my channel. So, actually you really don't have to because you can still see it, but that would be nice. That'd be awesome. Let me know what you think. What you think of the videos? And I'm not... Gonna... Get all that in there. All that inking. So much inking. Mm, we'll see. We'll see. I'm kind of liking it, but then again, I'm not really liking it at the moment. It's, it's unrealistic, you know, because there's not enough hood to cover that. So, you know what? Let's go with a bigger brush so we can speed this up and see if it's going to look okay. At least the parts that are and you know what else I found out it's really weird which I'm not doing right now because I'm talking I heard that if you snipers hold their breath when they fire a shot or anybody fires a shot and same concept works when you're making a line if you just calm your breathing then you can make a pretty darn straight line. And I know it's pretty weird. It's kind of weird to say, isn't it? But you guys probably already knew that. I just found that out. Like, I don't know, last week. Something like that. Because I was... I was getting kind of upset. I don't have a very steady hand. 